Hello students. Today we will start with the seventh chapter in science that is motion, force and work. Now do you know what is mean by motion? When anything is moving that means that particular thing is in motion. Now last year you have learned about motion. We have also learned about force and you have learned about work. So we know that a change occurs in the motion or shape of a body when a force acts on it. Now here if you will see in these images you will find that different force is acting on any object and then that particular object is in motion. So let us learn more about the force that is acting and let us see how the work is done when a force acts on an object. Now here in this picture the boy is pushing a cart. So that means motion is taking place because of the force the cart is moving and that means work is also being done. And also there is certain amount of distance and displacement that take place. So now we will understand the difference between distance and displacement. So what is distance? So distance is the length of the route actually traveled by a moving body irrespective to the direction is called as the distance. And also distance is a scalar quantity that means it is only measured in magnitude. Next is displacement. So it is the minimum distance traveled by a moving body in one direction from the original point to the final point and this is called as the displacement and also displacement is a vector quantity that means it can be identified by magnitude as well as the direction. Now here in this picture if you will see a boy is there and that boy is traveling to the point B. First of all he is at point A then from A to B he has to go he has his house here and then from B to C this C point is some other point where he has to reach. So now how he can reach so either the boy can go from A to B or then B to C or the boy can go from A to C directly. So now what will be the distance? So distance is the length of the route that is actually covered. So that means the boy is going from the year that is A to B this will be 4 kilometers then from B to C this is also 3 kilometers that means how much distance is covered 4 plus 3 that is 7 kilometers but here if you will see this distance that is from A to C this is only what this is only 5 meters so that means this distance is less rather than this distance this is 7 meters and this is only 5 meters so this is the distance now for example the boy is at A and it reaches at C. So this point is called as when it reaches its final point. Ye pehle wala jo tha, usko bolte initial point. Then he reaches at the final point that is called as the displacement from the initial to the final. So displacement is what? The minimum distance. Now here what will be the minimum distance? 7 meters or 5 meters. So it will be 5 meters. Jaha pe usko pochna hai, that is the final point it can reach in 5 meters. So it is the minimum distance which is traveled by the moving object that is the boy in one direction from the original point to that is the final point to the uh, last point that is the original point to the final point. Next is speed and velocity. Now, For example we say that the speed of the truck is 40 kilometers per hour. That means the truck is traveling 40 kilometers in an hour. So in speed we also calculate the distance so if you have to define speed speed is the distance which is traveled per unit time and also if you have to find out what is the speed so speed is equal to distance upon the time so whatever distance is covered that is 40 kilometers was covered upon one that is in one hour so 40 upon one which is nothing but 40 so this is called as the speed next is the velocity now velocity is the distance traveled by a body in a specific direction in unit time. So now here 
डिरेक्शन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ डिरेक्शन इज नथिंग बट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट एक फाइनल पोजिशन से इट हैज टू रीच टू दाइनल पोजिशन जो भी उसका ओरिजिनल पोजिशन है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम मुंबई दैट इज कॉल एज द इनिशियल पोजिशन इट रीचेस टू पुणे दैट इज इट्स फाइनल पोजिशन सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट initial to final is called as the displacement so in velocity displacement is important the direction is important so that is why it is also a vector quantity because we have both magnitude as well as direction so if you have to find out what is the velocity of the object so we will divide it by the displacement that has occurred upon the time jitna bhi displacement hua hai wo car ka so for example it was 50 kilometers per hour so we will write as 50 upon 1 so this is nothing but your velocity so velocity is displacement upon time so let's understand velocity and speed with an example so there is a boy named ranji ranji stays at point a here is his house at point b is his school so if he has to reach school either he can reach directly from a to d which is 1000 meters or he can go and take his friends from point b and c and then reach the point d so for example he is taking if this route then he has to cover a to b that is 500 meters in 8 minutes then b to c that is 700 meters in 11 minutes and from c to d that is 300 meters in 6 minutes now let us calculate the velocity and the speed that will be there for ranji so let us find out the velocity and speed now the unit of speed or velocity is written as meter per second so if it is hour or if it is minutes then you have to convert it so first of all we will find the distance now we will find the distance that was traveled by ranji from point a to point d when reaching this path that is a b b c and c d so when we will calculate all the three paths that is 500 700 and 300 meter we will get what 1500 meter now what was the time that was required to reach in this path so first was 8 minutes 11 minutes and then 6 minutes so 8 plus 11 plus 6 which is nothing but 25 so this was the distance that is 1500 meters in 25 minutes next is the displacement that is if ranjit is going in a straight path that is from point a to d that means this is the minimum distance this is called as the displacement so displacement is 1000 meters which is already given now let us first find out the velocity formula for velocity is displacement upon time displacement is 1000 meters time is 25 minutes which we have calculated and 1000 meters which is given now this is in minutes when you will convert 25 minutes into the seconds you will get as 1500 seconds so when you will divide 1000 upon 1500 you will get as what 0.66 meters per second next we have to find out the speed while he is going to school speed ka formula is what distance traveled upon the total time so now distance traveled was what in the distance here it was 1500 meters 1500 meters upon 25 minutes we will convert into second 25 minutes is 1500 seconds so that means our answer comes to 1 meter per second now here if you will see the velocity is different and the speed is different now why it is different because distance and displacement is different agar by chance distance or displacement same hota so then our velocity and speed will also be same but here displacement jo hai wo minimum path is there so minimum path from a to d is only 100 meters so that is why it is 0.66 meters and the speed the distance which is there that is 1500 meters so it is 1 meter per second so this is the reason why we have different velocity and speed because the displacement is different and the distance is different you just have to remember this much ki velocity mein displacement hota hai speed mein distance hota hai time is common in both next is the average velocity and the instantaneous velocity now instantaneous velocity the velocity at a particular moment of time is called as the instantaneous velocity that at that moment only whatever the velocity is there that is called as the instantaneous velocity and this can be different at different times so now suppose there is a truck which is moving from point a to d okay but this truck is moving along a straight line from a to b it is 10 kilometers 
B to C it is 10 kilometers and C to D is it is 20 kilometers. So that is the displacement if we talk about the so displacement is 40 kilometers which is taking place. Now altogether it requires 1 hour. So its average velocity will be what? 40 kilometers per hour because 8 hours mein 40 kilometers can be covered. But the truck if it is covering 10 kilometers that is A se B tak ke jo 10 kilometers hai, that it is covering in 10 minutes. B se C it is covering in 20 minutes and C to D it is just covering in 30 minutes. Okay. So if we will calculate only for A to B. So agar A to B ka we will calculate the distance of A to B is equal to 10 kilometers upon 10 minutes which is nothing but 1 kilometer per minute. So that means 1 kilometer is covered in 1 minute. So 60 minutes mein kitna kilometers cover hona chahiye? 60 kilometers, right? Agar ek minute mein ek kilometer cover ho raha hai, to 60 minutes mein how many kilometers should be covered? So it should be 60 kilometers. So what we get? 60 kilometer per hour. If we calculate for per minute, so actually mein it is covering 40 kilometers per hour total, but agar hum ek kilometer ka calculate karenge ek minute ke hisab se ek minute mein kitne kilometers so it is covering 60 kilometers per hour ek minute ke hisab se so now if you will see so this is different the velocity agar hum ab ke hisab se calculate karenge to this is different but when we will calculate the average velocity that is a to d karke agar hum calculate karenge so this is called as the instantaneous velocity and this the average velocity for the entire route that is A C D that ki jo pura velocity hai, that is 40 kilometers per hour. So this is called as the instantaneous velocity or average velocity. Yani ki total jo agar hum nikalenge ek saath mein, so it is uh, 40 kilometers per hour. Yani ki kabhi jaldi chal rahi hai, truck kabhi slow chal rahi hai, so whatever things are happening like this. So this is 40 kilometers per hour. But if we minute ke se karenge, so it is nothing but it should cover 60 kilometers per hour. So this instantaneous velocity is different at different times. And you have to remember that instantaneous velocity is nothing but the total average velocity. Jati hai, that is instantaneous velocity.